हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द लिटिल बॉय सीक्रेट वन डे एंड्रू लेफ्ट स्कूल आफ्टर द फिफ्थ पीरियड बिकॉज ही हैड अ सीक्रेट टू टेल हिज मदर He was in a bit of a hurry to get home, so he took a shortcut through the woods, where there lived three terrible giants. He had not gone far when he met one of them blocking his path. The giant was very big, ugly, and fierce-looking. What are you doing here, boy? Don't you know whose words these are? He roared. I am so sorry, but I have a secret to tell my mother. As I am in a hurry, I am going this way. Secret? The giant roared. What secret? I cannot tell you, or it will not be a secret any more. The boy said, not a bit afraid. Then I am taking you to our castle. Stooping down, he picked up the little boy and popped him into his shirt pocket and turned to go home. Before long, the first giant met his brother who was fat and almost bald. "What's that in your pocket?" he asked the first giant. "A boy," he replied. says he has a secret he won't tell us when the second giant heard that he laughed a wicked laugh won't tell us he <laughs> he chuckled we'll see off to the castle with him the two giants thumped on down the path till they came to a huge castle made of stone beside a muddy river at the door they met the third giant who was horrid looking and spoke in a funny manner what's that in your pocket he asked the first giant he looked like a giant all right but he was like a little child and he even spoke like one A boy he answered says he has a secret he won't share with us the third giant laughed wickedly ah put him on that table the first giant gently took the boy from his pocket and set him on the kitchen table then all the three giants gathered round and had a close look at him and you look at the first giant he looked at the second giant he looked at the third giant all the three were truly enormous and horrid to look at well said the first giant we are waiting said the second giant i'll count till 3 said the third giant 1 2 and you sighed a big sigh oh all right he said i suppose i will have to tell you but you will have to promise to let me go he said we promise said the giants all together the little boy turned to the first giant bend down he said The giant leaned down and Andrew whispered into his ear. When the first giant heard the secret, he leaped up from the table, his knees shook, and his eyes almost popped out of their sockets. "Oh no!" he shouted. "That is terrible." He dashed out of the castle. He ran into the woods and climbed up the tallest tree.
The second giant looked down at the boy. What's wrong with him? He asked. Never mind, said the little boy. Just bend down. The second giant leaned down and the little boy climbed onto a teapot to reach the giant's ear. When the giant heard the secret, he jumped up so fast that he ripped the seat off his trousers. He covered his face with his hands, screaming, No, tell me it isn't true. He ran out of the castle screaming and dived head first into the muddy river. When the third giant saw what was happening, he looked afraid. T -t Tell me. He leaned down and the little boy stood on the tiptoe to whisper into his ear. Ah, oh, no. Why did my stupid brother bring you here? He shouted as he tripped and fell down, knocking his chair over. He got up and raced away from the castle ran over the hills and crawled into the deepest, darkest cave he could find. The castle door had been left open and since the giants had promised the little boy he could go, Andrew walked out and went home. At last he could tell his mother his secret. But she didn't scream and run away. She just put him to bed and gave him some supper. The next morning, when Andrew woke up, he was covered from head to toe with bright red spots and he had a slight fever. Now I can tell everybody what my secret was, he said with a smile. My secret was, I am getting the measles. If this video was helpful to you then please like and share my video with your friends and also don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.